Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this tutorial, you will learn about how to crop a photo using the Python programming language. So, taking photos is lots of fun, but sometimes your photo will be off-center, or you may want to focus on in on like one portion portion of the shot. Um, to do that, most uh, do, most uh, photographers will crop the photo. That lets you cut out the part that's not interesting to you and kind of zoom in on the part that you care about. Uh, you can do this with Python. And the way you do that is by downloading the pillow package, which is a, called the friendly fork of the Python imaging library. For whatever reason, the Python imaging library uh, didn't get continued to be developed for Python 3, so it was forked and became the pillow package. It allows you to open and manipulate photos just like the Python imaging library did. All right, so to install Pillow, all you need to do is do python-m pip install Pillow. It'll install the latest version. Once you have it, we'll learn about how to crop a grasshopper. This is a photo I took a while ago of a grasshopper I found. There's some other bug on here too that I just don't care about. Instead, I like to like crop it down just so I can see the head of the grasshopper. So to do that, um, I'm going to create a function called crop. It takes in an image path and coordinates. I think I actually talk about this next. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk about it anyway right now. So first you import pillow, which is imported as PIL in caps. You import its image uh, class or object. And then you open up the image path. So in this case, I'm just going to pass it my grasshopper image. Then you need to pass in a tuple of coordinates. These are X, Y positions of where you want to start and stop. So in this case I want to start at the XY position 80, 80x, 162y. So that should do, if I can get this to back up. All right. I'll just do this. Oops. Sorry. So what I'm trying to do is try to guess the 80 pixels down, 80 pixels from the left and you know like 100 pixels from the top is what I'm trying to do, 162 pixels. And then I want to go 484 pixels from the left and 480 down. So let's go back. Okay, get this to work the way I want it to. Undo. So what that means is that I want it to, to basically back up. I want it to go right around here. All right, and finally you tell it where to uh, save the cropped image. So when you do uh, image object.crop, you pass it the coordinates and it will crop the image. Then it will return an image object. Um, once you have the image object, you need to save it or you're just going to lose it. So we call the saved save function with the path to the new location that you want to save the cropped image to. And then when you run it, it'll show the image. Because I just added this show here to kind of test to make sure that I got the right the right coordinates. So if I run this, it'll open up whatever your default image uh, editor is, and it'll show that I guess I have the right coordinates. Now, it can be difficult to figure out what the right coordinates are. Uh, for this particular tutorial, I used uh, an image editing software just to open it up and see where my cursor was, so I could kind of guess. I kind of knew where the beginning and ending coordinates were. Another way to do it would be just to kind of guess. Once you've done enough photos, you kind of know how many pixels there are and what to do. So you can just kind of kind of wing it. All right. So that's what it looks like. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me, drop them in the comments, and I'll see you next time.